Okay, we continue talking about the CSS box model. You can see that I have an HTML page and I just have two content items here, an H1 and an H2, and there are no styles up here in the embedded section. Now what I want to do is to illustrate what I've been trying to make clear over the last few days, and that is that in HTML5 CSS, everything, everything is contained within a box. Now I want to talk about what all that includes. So if I say everything, then does it include this opening uh, HTML tag? Yes. Does it include the opening body tag? Yes. Everything. Now the only thing that you might say would be an exception would be the items here in the head section. The head section is not intended to display on your page, so we don't really have to worry about style rules for that. But as far as the HTML, this is the main containing element. This contains everything. HTML can even contains the body tag. And to show that, I just want to come in here to styles and let's just type a style rule for HTML. HTML, we hit a space and then our curly brace and hit enter. Let's give the HTML, let's give it a border of one pixel, solid blue. All right, so the HTML, one pixel solid blue for a border. Now, what do you think in this page would be surrounded with a blue uh, border? Well, it should be everything that's contained within the body section because HTML is the one that is the mother tag of them all. This is the one that contains everything. So I'm going to come right here to my HTML rule and I'm going to press Control S to save and you'll see this page in live preview update. So here we go. Three, two, one. All right. So we see now that the HTML element up here, this opening HTML element, see it's the one that closes right down here at the very bottom. So HTML here and HTML up here on line two. These together are the containing tags that contain everything else. And so anything within the body section is going to be included here. So if I were to come over under the H2 element and say, let's put a, a paragraph and let's just put 50 words of lorem ipsum in there and control S to save that, then you can see everything everything between the body tags is part of the HTML tag. And so we have all of that included. And HTML is an element that you can set a style rule to. So if I wanted to have everything, all of the page, every bit of the HTML page with a background color, background color of, let's say here, how about beige. Control S in three, two, one. All right. Now notice that the entire page has a beige color to it. So you can assign CSS styles to the HTML tag because it contains everything. Now we can do the same thing to the body section. So we'll come here right after HTML and we'll type body, opening curly brace, and let's give this a border of one pixel. Let me show you what it looks like. We'll put dashed red. And we'll control S, save this in three, two, one. All right, so the blue border is containing everything that's found within the body section, and that is these two H1 elements here, and we put a red border around the body. So the body tag is covering all of this material here, and the HTML element is covering all of this, and then we've given it a beige background. Now, if I 
wanted to come down a little bit further and let's go ahead and give these h1 and h2 elements let's give them a border so here we have border of one pixel solid let's give it cyan okay we're going to put boxes around h1 here and h2 in three two one right maybe a little bit hard to see but there you can tell that we have a box going around all of the h1 and all of the h2 notice that the html element when we put a box around it it took 100 percent of the width of that screen Notice that the body section has a little bit of space, margin we should say. It has a tiny bit of margin right here between the dashed line and the edge of that page. And so that means that in the same way that the browser knows automatically how big to make an H1, it knows how big to make an H2, the browser also knows that when we get to the body tag that it's going to have the body tag is going to have an automatic margin of how however many pixels that is all right so uh, by the way we could change that so we come up to body if we wanted the body to have a, a greater margin we could just come in and change that say margin 20 pixels three two one there we go. Now all of the body scoots in about 20 pixels. Could we change the width of the HTML? Because I mean it's the whole page. Well let's just try it and see. We'll come up here right after background beige and we'll say that we want to have a margin here of let's say let's give it 20 pixels. All right now in three two one look at that. So now we've given for the HTML element, we actually have a border, a margin that is, between the edge of the, the screen. By the way, we call this area in the browser, the area in which we can see the content of our HTML pages. We, call, we don't call this the browser window. This is called the viewport, the viewport. You know, like on a ship, they have a window in the side of the ship, and those are called ports. So it's a window where you can look through and see things. And so this is called the view port in the browser because we look through this window and we're looking at something that's out there on the internet. Okay, so now we can give HTML, we can give CSS styles to every bit of this stuff. If we wanted the border for the HTML to be not one but say 10 pixels control s to save there you go that's the HTML that's not the head that's not the body section if we wanted the body dash line to be say 20 pixels wide control s in three two one look at that great big 20 pixel dash line going around all the body section so we can give a style rule to the HTML we can give it to the to the body section and we can give them to the everything that's inside of the body we can give it a style rule all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back and let's just take out the margin for HTML control s in three two one that takes us back out to the edge of the border we'll take that mark the um, border down to just one pixel control s in three two one All right come back now to the 20 pixel border that dashed line and we'll change that to just one pixel and let's take the margin out of this control z oops control s in three two one there we are we're right back to where we were and so we have the borders now around the the um, h1 and h2 elements now the question that i asked you in class was these 
these boxes, they take up the full width of the screen. But is there some way that we can change that? Well, sure there is. We can come back in. We're going to talk here about just the H2 elements. So just these H2 elements that are inside of the body section. So let's come to them and let's give them a width of, let's say, 50%. And we'll hit Control S in three, two, one. Look at there. Now that box is only 50% of the width of its containing box. So these, this H1 right here and this H2 right here, these are both contained inside of the body section. So the body section is the container that holds these H1 and H2 elements. It'd be just like if you had a folder on your computer and you had some files inside of that folder, then you could say here that the H1 and H2 elements are inside of the folder called body. It's the same kind of a principle. And right now, the default value for HTML was that the H1 would take up 100% of the width of the body section. But remember, the body section doesn't take up 100% of the whole page because there's a tiny bit of margin, about five pixels out here on both sides of the, of the viewport. So we can change this to a width of 50%. Now that's 50% of the body area, but not 50% of the HTML area. So I'm going to come down here and we want to see now, can I put anything on the right side of this h1 element can i put this h2 element up here remember just like we did when we worked with images and we floated them so we're going to type float comma i mean colon and then left semicolon okay now we're going to hit Control s in three two one Control s and we didn't get anything whenever we hit the Control s even though we should we these are only 50 percent of the containing box and we tried to float it up the problem is here is a problem that web developers just have to keep in the back of their minds this is one of those things when we say you can do this but you have to remember well what we have to do is we have to remember that the way that borders and boxes and everything all work in here is that we have to add the values of things like these borders. So if I were to come in here and take the border off, and say take that one pixel off, and I'll just make it zero, control S in three, two, one. Look at that. Now all of a sudden, the H2 popped up here right beside the H1, but it would not do that whenever I had even like we had over here, just one pixel, one pixel. I wonder what it would do if we had, can we do like 0.5 pixels? Control S in three, two, one. It won't do it even with like half a pixel because the browser or right now the containing element for H1 and H2 is this body section. And we're, we're saying 50%, but the 50% does not include, uh, it must include the width of that border. And whenever we say 50% and then we add a border, now all of a sudden we're over 50%. And so there is a special way that we take care of this whenever we try to resize boxes and we want them to, uh, to float. So what we do is we come up here and we call uh, box it's called box sizing and then what we have is a value here called border box and this is just one of those things that you just have to learn whenever you want to position things on the screen so you want to take something that has a width that's taking up a hundred percent of the screen width and you want to move something up beside it then what you have to do is come in and type box sizing border box in your CSS rule and then what will happen is that whenever the whenever you tell it that it's going to be 50 percent the width of the of the containing element and you're telling it that you still in addition to 50 percent you still want that one pixel of border to be included and not added on then what we'll 
the the border box box sizing up here what it'll do is that it forces the browser to calculate all this stuff together and it'll cause these to be a true 50 percent even with the border let me show you that so we'll hit control s in three two one and look at there now i have two that are at 50 percent width see it's specified right here that they're 50 percent the width and i floated them right up side by side of each other and even though they're set at 50 percent width this one pixel border on each one of those gets included in the calculations so i get a true 50 percent you can change these to anything that you want to if i wanted to not just have 50 percent if i just wanted to have like 25 percent may look funny three two one but you can do it see you can do it and they still float up beside each other so what you can need to remember from this lesson is that everything everything including the html element and including the body element and the all everything that's within the body elements all of these things are contained within boxes but you're not stuck with boxes that go completely across the screen because you can resize them and you can cause them to float up uh, beside each other and so this gives you the power to lay things out on your page the way that you want them to be